So now I was wondering how a uh, changing input uh, voltage, such as from a voltage divider, which we have uh, wired up here, will affect this module. So this is a relay, it's a mechanical switch, but uh, current actually determines whether it switches or not. That's what a relay is. So it's a mechanical switch, but it's switched electrically. So we have to power it. Those two jumpers are going to the power pin and our signal pin is coming to the output of a trim pot, which has the full supply voltage across it, five volts right there. And um, this uh, red jumper over there comes to the red alligator clip of the oscilloscope. That measures the voltage in relationship to uh, the black uh, jumper, which I have clipped to ground. So we're gonna see the voltage in relationship to ground. Hopefully that makes sense. So in any case, we'll zoom in. And uh, I have the jumper here, because you can adjust this one, set to having it a high input for it to switch. So right now, the uh, relay's in its uh, resting position. And uh, when you hear a click, right there, it's switched. So two volts, it looks like. Anything above that is a uh, high for sure. And then it looks like I got a lower below about a volt and a half, approximate. So not quite a volt and a half, it doesn't look like um, but in that range. So in between somewhere about a volt and a half and two volts, it will stay whatever it's in, but then we cross a threshold and it switches. And then again, between those two points, it stays where it is until you cross the threshold. We just, uh, hopefully you heard that click. I may have been talking right when it uh, hit. So now, um, ideally it would just switch the uh, coil at uh, those two points fully or not. But uh, as you can see here, the uh, input shouldn't be letting any current in or out. That's another thing I can measure. But you notice when I raise the uh, trim pot, uh, set it to a higher uh, voltage setting, current goes up. So there we go, we heard a click. That's clearly the current through the coil. So I've noticed with uh, other relays that uh, you have histories built into them. So if uh, current's not uh, high enough, it's not going to switch. You have to get it up to a point where it's going to switch. Looks like about 45 milliamps probably at that point. And then you can go down a little bit. It will stay switched. There we go. We loaded it some more. And then it switched back right there. So um, I think I would probably use a, a voltage divider to go to something that sets a uh, low or a high input uh, fully right there instead of putting the voltage divider uh, directly to it. Because as you can see here, that uh, if we, you know, give, you know, some voltage, not quite enough to uh, switch it, but uh, still enough uh, that uh, we got a low input, you can see the coil is uh, conducting. That's uh, most likely what almost all that uh, current is, plus whatever you need to light up uh, that LED 